Hey everybody, Chris here. I'm out on the uh, lake, Kemp Lake, just down the uh, road from my house and I'm trying to do a video, but the fishing is slow. It's uh, midday, sunny, kind of to be expected. Fish down low, probably not doing a whole lot right now, not feeding. Um, uh, I recently replaced my depth sounder with the Humminbird Helix 5 with the Chirp. And I replaced it uh, with an old hummingbird that was about 12 years old for a little lake. Uh, um, it was a little lake um, depth sounder and it, it uh, just wasn't doing anything good for the ocean, which I live next to also. So I decided to upgrade. They use the exact same transducer. And when I was doing my uh, research, um, a lot of people reviewed them, but they reviewed them from the garage or wherever. No one really reviewed them on the water. I'm out here and I figure maybe I'll take this time and we'll do a little review on this and I'll give you my impressions and the, some of the features of this thing. So give me a second. Here we go. We'll uh, flip this thing around. All right. So here we are. You can see my reflection in it. Um, this here we have the Humminbird Helix 5 and it does have the chirp. So you can see the depth we're in, 15 feet, doing about one mile per hour. I've got the temperature in Fahrenheit, 60.3. And the time is 3.13 in the afternoon. That is mountain time, I believe, because it's two hours off, or central, I guess. Not eastern, it would be central. Mountain would be one hour. Anyway, um, let's go through a couple of the features. So you've got your power button here. You've got an exit button. Here's your menu, your view. Zoom in and out, your scrolls, check mark, mark, and which is, you can do charts. So let's uh, see if we can get the, this a bit more in the shadow. So here's your view. If you click that, you can change your view to different screens. You can see, you can get into a split screen. And there's me on the lake, all over the place. You can zoom in on that. You can see, what I've done today on the lake. Me just going in circles and circles and circles. And we can get the, uh, you can get your uh, compass reading up at the top. Uh, you can see what direction I'm going right now. And here is a split screen. What we have here is me on the lake, really zoomed in, north is up. And on the other side is really zoomed out. This is the ocean down here and I'm on a lake sitting way up here. So if we zoom in, zoom out, here we go, get over to this one. Anyway, you can play around with that, it's quite nice. And then we can go split screen with the chart. You can zoom out on that chart and still you've got your depth and everything here. So let's get out of there. Here we go, diagnostic view, GPS. This is, uh, let's see if we can Get out of the sun here and uh, get a better view. I'll spin around. So this is kind of neat. Apologize for the reflection on the screen. I'm trying to do this out on the water. Anyway, you can see what's going on there. A lot of information you probably don't need. And get out of there. Screen snapshot so you can take a snap and then get back to my home screen. I've got a temperature line up at the top. You can see the temperature if you care. Um, this is maybe handy if you're uh, jumping in at the mouth of a river. You're crossing the mouth of a river. You'll see the temperature drop. Maybe you get a strike. You know the fish are hanging out down in there. Uh, we come over to the menu. You can get your sensitivity. You can set this up. Contrast. Sonar colors is down at the bottom. Chart speed. You can change your colors, which is neat. Come on at the end, let's go back. So depending on the lighting conditions and what you're looking for and just really personal preference, you can get into these different colors on the chart. And I'm just scrolling left and right. You can see that you can scroll left or right. We can get out of here and we can come back up. You can chart speed your lower range. Auto, 
and then uh, your contrast sensitivity and then we get back to the menu over here click it again you can get into your alarms all your different frequencies your uh, 2d switch fire fish sensitivity fish ID that fish ID just shows a little um, when you hit a fish it shows a little icon of the fish uh, your nav settings you can set waypoints and tracks and routes um, I don't bother with that because I'm mainly on a lake or near near shore when I'm out on the ocean I don't get too far offshore charts symbol sizes all sorts of stuff you can get down into the north up indicator and uh, get into the chart your setup different views everything I've got everything visible I like to I like as much information I like information overload and then we can just exit out of there and we're back to the uh, chart anyway it's a quick overview I really like it there's a lot of interface there um, a lot of settings you can set and personalize it and it didn't break the bank up here in Canada this thing was under $500 you can get into the low rants uh, up around $2,000 you can get into the side scan, all sorts of stuff. I didn't need that. This thing's great. Um, it's really nice. I have it wired down through my battery. I keep right here. There's my battery. I've got it wired in through and over. And my, and my um, actual transducer sits under my seat and down in the bottom of my Hopi kayak, which is straight down. It shoots straight down and a hair forward, just a ever so slightly forward so I actually see what's coming up and uh, you can change your chart speed and, and everything else it shows uh, bottom um, obstacles down there like when you go over a branch it'll really identify the branch nicely so uh, I really like this thing anyway there's my uh, there's my review of the uh, Humminbird Helix 5 with Chirp it's a very nice uh, depth sounder big upgrade on the one I used to have anyway I hope this helps and uh, enjoy.